Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Thanks for all the love and support you've given us. Our mission is to make psychology more accessible to everyone. Now let's begin. Ever felt something you couldn't quite put into words? Have you ever found it difficult to put your finger on exactly what is the name of what you're feeling? We've all had some feelings we couldn't quite explain. However, did you know that at some point, somewhere, someone may have named these very specific emotions? Fear not. We've got you covered. Here are names of 10 novel emotions you may have felt sometime in your life. One, Heimwe. Heimwe is a word describing a strange mix of homesickness and nostalgia. It's a German loan word composed of the words Heim, meaning home or home place, and We, which means pain or woe. While it is related to homesickness, it's not quite the same thing. Sometimes it's called true homesickness, because it's often used for situations that are quite severe, either emotionally or physically. Two, liminal. Liminal comes from the Latin limen, which means threshold or border. That is also what it tends to describe, a feeling of being on some sort of border or crossing. Some liken it to the feeling you have when you wait in an airport or train station for longer than expected. They're both places where everyone is often traveling through, not staying. And when you do stay, it can kind of feel peculiar. Three, Sonder. Sonder is the feeling you have when you realize that each individual around you has a life, both inner and outer, as complex as you. They have fears and worries, a history, things they rather not talk about, just like you. For a moment, you seem to feel a kinship or a shift, or maybe even confusion. That is Sonder. Four, chrysalism. Chrysalism is the strange kind of comfort and quietness you feel when you're inside and there's rain or thunder. You see and feel natural phenomena lash out and rage outside while you're in the warm, comforting cocoon of home. Five, liberosis. Have you ever felt the desire to be more carefree, more liberated? Liberosis, in very basic terms, is the desire to feel chill, perhaps especially when experiencing mental illness. You'll probably feel an innate desire to care less about unimportant things, to loosen up a little. Six, chirosclerosis. Remember that feeling when you wanted a happy moment to last forever, or that moment where you wanted time to stop? Chirosclerosis is the conscious effort to savor a happy moment. It describes the realization that you are happy, and then the following effort to really remember that feeling in that moment. Seven, velicor. This one is for all the book lovers out there. Those who spend hours wandering around in their favorite old bookstore with a dreamy look in their eyes, caressing the spines of untold tales before them. Velicor is described as the strange wistfulness you feel when you're in a used bookstore. These books had had a life and purpose before ending up in the store to be available for you to buy. It's a strange variation on nostalgia. Eight, no sien. Have you ever felt that someone you thought you knew everything about, you might not know that well after all? No sien derives from the Greek gnosis, knowledge. This word is kind of related to sonder. It describes the realization that even people you've known for years still have a complex and mysterious inner life you know very little about. Nine, mimeomia. Mimeomia is quite an interesting word and something a lot of you will have experienced at some point. Stereotypes are part of life. And even though they can be untrue very often, sometimes you do something or exhibit a trait that does fit into a stereotype. You might not like it, because you know it's a stereotype and you don't want to fit into that stereotypical image. This annoyance with fitting into a stereotypical image is called mimeomia. And 10, anamoya. Did an old song just transport you to an era way before you were born? Anamoya is another wistful word, like nocien and sonder. Anamoya is what you feel when you experience nostalgia for a time you've never known. You might experience it when listening to music or watching movies characteristic for a particular time. Were you familiar with some of these feelings? 
Can you now put a name to what you felt? Do let us know in the comments below. Would you like to hear more about these obscure feelings? Let us know by sharing and liking this video. We'll dive back into the books to get you some awesome psychology information. Thanks for watching. See you next time.